For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem which says three forces act on the bracket, determine the magnitude and direction of uh, theta of f so that the resultant force is directed along the x prime axis and has a magnitude of 8k so the magnitude is going to be more or less 8k bigger than the others alright so basically break it down let's break it down into uh, different parts so we got the first force is 6k directed in the i direction the second force is negative 4k sine of 15 degrees in the i direction plus 4k cosine of 15 degrees in the j direction and the third one which is f is going to be let's call it x and y which is what we're trying to find now the resultant force is going to be 8k cosine of 30 degrees in the i direction plus 8k sine of 30 degrees in the j direction so we add the axis together to form our first equation and we are wise together to form our second equation so for the x we get 6k minus 1.03k plus x is equal to 6.93 which is 8k cosine of 30 so when you solve for x you get that it's equal to 1.96k the second equation is 4 actually sorry 3.86 plus y is equal to 4 this is 3.86 this is 4 so when you solve for y you get that it's equal to 0.14k now that we got the x and y components of the uh, f all we gotta do is find the magnitude to find the magnitude you do the square root of x squared plus y squared which is 1.965 okay that's for the magnitude and to find this angle let's call this angle epsilon is equal to the tangent timbers of the y component over the x component which is equal to 4.08 degrees but you know that to find this angle which is theta is equal to 90 minus epsilon which is equal to 85.91 degrees so in reality this force is saving somewhere over there huh, interesting does that make sense? yeah that makes sense final answers <laughs> 